hey everybody welcome to my channel for all of my newbies welcome back to all of my subscribers um i hadn't posted a video in a while um i'm trying to work on that so i've gotten into paper crafting so i know you guys see all of this stuff right here this is a money envelope i purchased the svg from svg ocean um so again this is a paper craft so this is just some printed card stock that i got from i'm sorry this is the solid color card stock that i got from hobby lobby um you know they always have their paper on sale so this is a 12 by 12 sheet that i got on sale for it was 79 cent um then it was 40 percent off of that this is some printed paper that i got from hobby lobby I think the printed paper was $0.49 cent a piece. Um, and, of course, all of their paper was on sale, 40% uh, off. So, I just wanted to kind of, you know, expand my horizon, you know, just branch out and do new things. So, um, this is just a little money envelope thing. Um, so, what I'm going to need is, which I've already got everything here, I got my paper. Um, and I don't know if you can see the score lines on here or not, but that's where you'll fold them. Um, and when you bring the SVG into your software, I'm Team Silhouette, it cuts the score lines for you. That's where you'll fold. I just got some um, Eileen's Tacky Glue. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's like a three-ounce bottle. Well, it ain't a dollar no more. It's a buck and a quarter. Um... I'm not going to say this thing didn't come with instructions. I probably didn't print that out or whatever. It looks pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to glue this. Wait a minute. Which one? Is that? the? No, the bigger one goes right here. And the smaller one goes right here. And, of course, we know the scallop edge to go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bend it just to kind of figure it out. The way I think it's going to happen is um, once I glue these down, I'm going to fold this and then fold this and then fold these two flaps on the inside. I'll fold the two flaps on the inside, glue those down. Um, and then this goes here. Now, it, I probably should have gotten some um, the little Velcro, adhesive Velcro to go on there. But this is just an experiment. So, this is a smaller one. Um, there probably is a different type of glue that can be used. Um, just like I said, I'm just now getting into uh, paper crafting. So... You know, and I've seen like a lot of the videos where they have uh, like this little small fine tip nozzle um, on their glue. But just like I said, I'm experimenting. So, and I got my glue from the buck and a quarter store. Y'all know it's not a dollar no more. Um, and I guess the one thing I like about this. This glue is kind of repositionable. Um, this paper is so cute. I probably should have got more than one sheet because I want to do something else with this paper. But I mean, at that point, it was like, what, 49 cents a sheet from Hobby Lobby? Hobby Lobby sells their paper uh, by the sheet. But then they also sell it by the pack. The packs can range anywhere from $5.99 on up. I just got by the sheet because, you know, to me, that, that gives me a little bit more versatility. Because with those packs, a lot of those packs of paper are themed. And so, you know, you don't want to be stuck with all summer stuff or all winter stuff or something like that. You know, at least when it's themed. Um... I'm sorry, when you're buying it by the sheet, you got a little bit more flexibility. You know, you're not stuck with the whole pack of paper that you're not using. I actually did get a package of uh, red paper 
uh, different shades of reds and maroons from um I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale last year, I think for a dollar ninety nine. And so they're all red and maroon. So that's pretty much it. You know, that's kind of what you're limited to. Um, but because it was on sale, I was okay with it. Um, now let me get this right here. I got glue on my hand. Press that down. Let me move it a little bit. All right. So everything's on. I'm going to go ahead and fold it over. Fold these two tabs in. And I want to do something easy. Um, Because some of these crafts, I tell you what, they're... They come with so many different pieces. And, and some of them don't come with directions. It's pretty much you buy it and you figure it out. Or with a lot of these people that sell SVGs now, they have like their own YouTube channels and they have their own Facebook channel. So nine times out of 10, you know, you go ahead and buy from them and then just um, hop in their Facebook group. And a lot of them have tutorials. So that's it. And then this closes down. So this is really cute. Um, so this is the back of it. And I mean, I guess I could have uh, got another sheet of the solid purple and put it right here to put a name on there. I mean, I probably will get um, the little adhesive, what do you call that stuff, Velcro dots that you put right there. And so I got a $20 bill. Let's see if it fits. Like nobody ever carries cash anymore, but... For those of us that do, this would be a good way to give cash. And it's starting to come apart right here on the side because I'm not letting it dry because I'm opening it up. Um, but the money fits in there fine, and you just close it up. And just like I said, I think I have some of those Velcro dots somewhere, um, and I'll find them and put it on there to keep it closed. But this is really cute. I like this design. The design is real cute. So you can just do anything. You can do a solid color. Um, or you can do a printed color. I tried to do this purple to match the purple in this um, Donuts and it's crazy because I don't even eat donuts like that, but I thought the paper was cute So anyway, I purchased this SVG from SVG Ocean. I got the paper um, from Hobby Lobby Again, Hobby Lobby has a lot of paper. I like the fact that you can get uh, individual sheets or you can buy the pack um, and then also I got my Aline's Tacky Glue from the Buck and a Quarter store. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to experiment and do uh, paper crafts now. Just something, you know, to just change it up a little bit. So yeah, here's this real cute, real quick, and real easy. So whenever you're, you know, trying another craft, do the easy stuff first so you don't get frustrated. Um, start off with the simple, easy stuff and build, build, build to the more difficult stuff. Um, and just continue to challenge yourself. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And after you do that, hit the notification button so you can be notified when I upload another video. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you just want to say hey. Um, and until then, as I always say, do whatever makes you happy. And for me, that's crafting. Bye now.